Okay, this is a uh, bitparade.co.uk uh, mini guide, I suppose, to using Guitar ML6 on the DS. Uh, nothing too complicated. The game's actually uh, it's coming out in America in a couple of months, I think. I can't remember what it's called, um, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and I'd say you're probably better off waiting for the American version. If you see this cheap and you think you can uh, get by with the Japanese, and it's not too difficult to be perfectly honest, then maybe it's worth picking up. But uh, I think just to save yourself the hassle, just now it's definitely getting translated, just uh, wait for the American version. But if you've got it and you're uh, a bit stuck, which you shouldn't really be because there's nothing to. Um, you know, there's nothing too difficult with any of this. Uh, then hopefully this will uh, give you some tips. Okay, um, bottom screen, you've got uh, your, well, effectively your string, so you can't actually pick anything, it's just, uh, just a strum. So. And uh, top screen, you've got your chords. Uh, and uh, what you press on the D-pad, including diagonals, that's what chords you're playing. So. And the uh, left shoulder button will alter to a different chord set. Uh, right shoulder button scrolls through various preset chord sets. Um, but as I've got some say, I don't really want to do that. Well, it doesn't like to lose them, it just means I have to go and select them, but it's not too difficult. And uh, you can use the uh, face buttons as well, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Uh, that's for left handers. Okay, top right of the touchscreen, you get to the options menu. Uh, the first one that's lit up is. I can select it. This is your uh, preset songs, um, which you get the tab for as well in the booklet, but it's all in Japanese, so. Uh, yeah. Right. This is your list of songs. We pick one at random. Sorry, move the camera. Let's go for this one. And then play. So my problem with this is that uh, you can't tell what chords are being played. So you have to go by ear. Uh, and which you probably need a bit of guitar knowledge for anyway. Um, and then you can't play along either, which means that uh, when you do press play, which is uh, this green one, it shows you the chords there. And the lyrics, I think, and what needs to be played when. But, uh, and maybe I'll for the example as well, these are your main ones, and then these are when you press left. So I'll click OK. Uh, so the first chord is A, but it doesn't give you any indication of when to change unless you know the song, which uh, I don't, I'll be honest with you. So uh, if I go back to options. And then uh, back to that, yeah, yeah, just what happened. Uh, back to this, and then this top right, and that uh, takes the song off that you were just playing. Takes a card set off that. Your second option is um, just to affect the color of the top screen, which uh, I have as blue, but you can have as anything. Well, not anything, just whatever you can choose. And then this is a uh, a test, uh, sort of mini game, I suppose, where you can uh, you learn guitar notes. So let's go to uh, step one, uh, play. There's something to set up, something to call you so quick thing. Okay, that uh, to listen to it again, you just press the. I don't know if you can see that, but the uh, blue there. Um, so I have to guess what's being played, which uh, I think is C to start off with. No. Uh, F maybe? Uh, then I'm going to guess C, which is not, so uh, I think it was G, and then C. And it'll tell me that I've done God, even though I clearly didn't do God. Uh, so I'll put it. You can carry on from there. I'll cancel, I think I'll cancel. Yep. But I will exit using this one. It'll give me a score and say that's a good. Even though uh, I've never got video footage, so I didn't. Okay, that's uh, that's right again. Uh, bottom right is your reverb. 
it's the only effect you've got really to play that with and to be perfectly honest I'm not too sure it's worth using. The one above that is uh, your main options if you like. Uh, that, that affects the uh, strumming so which way you want to strum up for strumming down or whatever. And I suppose that only really, for me, it's only worth bothering with if you're going to hold the DS away from you, the screen away from you, to strum as though it was a normal guitar, but it's not really, um, it's not really worth bothering with, to be perfectly honest. Okay, the next one is, uh, if I click there, you see it's not selected, doesn't it, because it's there. Uh, I'll click this one. That, um, I'm not too sure, I haven't messed about with this one too much, but I think it's uh, where the, uh, the, I suppose, the peak of the strings are, where you want to be playing, you can widen it. Um, and obviously if you play towards this side it'll be higher this side I think is a lower I'm guessing it's been a while since I've messed with anything like that ok so let's turn it off again and this is um, it's the looseness of your strings I suppose but it also affects how easy it is to strum and um, the touch screen's not great for this uh, I'm not too sure why but it doesn't recognise sometimes that you're playing uh, quite often I have the stylus upside down, or I use a uh, a pen, the top end of a pen to strum. I've also took the screen guard off because uh, that seemed to affect it. But you can uh, widen it if once you've got it turned on, which is done. Uh, you can widen it. That'd be looser. That'd be tighter. So hopefully the middle. Um, this one uh, is pointless really. It's just what the string color is. And this is whether you want left hand or right hand. So that'll be the face buttons, and that will be the D pad. The top right is your chords. And there you go, got two sets. Now, I so say you can scroll through on the main screen using right, uh, right shoulder button, uh, and just play whatever you feel like, basically. But this lets you set some uh, chords to use. Uh, right, if you you can mess with stuff like whether the sharp or not. Um, I don't know what these two do to be perfectly honest I think it's how many times you can scroll through before they change I think with these two but I haven't used them too much so because um, yeah, I've got something saved there but, um, the third one along is what you need basically you don't need to worry about those two because well I haven't used them so um, third one along brings up your chords and uh, like I say that's uh, that's your main ones, that's your left shoulder button ones. You can just test them up there. Play in there. And then uh, if you want to change them, you select a ladder, so that's what B, and it brings up all the D chords it's got. And there's a D there that I'm not really using, so I will swap it for D4, D sus4, sorry. And then there you go, that's that. You can test them, and that's what we use. Uh, you can switch to your other. Chords up, which again, same sort of thing. You can just change it as you want. Um, and that's it. It's pretty easy to use. Um, let's go back uh, to get off this. There's tuning and stuff like that. It's not. I mean, if you feel confident enough to mess with that in Japanese, then uh, go ahead. But it's not really for me. It's not worth messing with. I mean, it's uh, if you want to dampen strings and stuff on an acoustic guitar simulator then fine but personally I think if you're going to do that then just use your normal guitar I think. Uh, right to go back to the main screen, click on that. There you go, you've got um, uh, these, these are the chords for not shell bars and chains by the way. Which uh, to give an indication it's not it's quite a good sound but it's a bit quiet which is my main criticism of this. It's uh, it's just to get any sort of real use out of it, you have to go through external speakers, which isn't great. Um, uh, so it, it does kind of limit its use. You might as well, personally, uh, in my opinion, just use a guitar. But it is good fun, it is good for a laugh, and I can see usage. Uh, probably summer's day in a field, maybe. Who knows? Beautiful woman by my side? Uh, probably not, but it, she, cause she won't be impressed by us. But who can tell? Anyway, and just... Uh, just for a go, uh, you have actually been watching this live and sat completely naked. So uh, enjoy that thought.